Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's pulling forms day and reform day. So that's what we're doing. I'm pretty excited about this to see this wall. This is the biggest wall we've ever, ever done. And it is stout. Apparently I had some issues keeping the foam straight, but uh, let's not talk about that. All right. Are we, uh, well, well it, I mean, yeah. <laughs> So here, the uh, scaffolding okay. is perfectly placed so that it's hard to see where it bends. All right, Luke, try it now. That was a beast. Right. That one went. Oh, oh, it came a little. Oh. Are you having trouble spinning it? Yeah, there's very, very, very little head left. Oh, let me see. Like, very little. Uh, hold. Um, because we really don't want to strip that out. Yeah. Let's get a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver on that. Behind it? Yeah, behind the head. Oh, wait. I'm a dork. Hold on. No, don't use the, don't use that. There. There we go. Pull it now. I realize there's no threads left. If I just hammer it from the other side, it'll come up. It'll pop straight out. What was the problem? <laughs> <laughs> so helpful, Teach. Man, you're getting really good at not using cups. <laughs> you're not allowed to. Sound. That is super cool. Look at that. Where the foam had yeah. just a tiny little gap, you can see how it like yes. fell down. Show off my failures. That's, that's no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying that it looks super cool. No, it's just you're doing a great job as a wife, pointing out your husband's failures to the entire world. <laughs> to the whole world, because the whole world watches this channel. No, but if you do like watching, please subscribe. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Um, and okay, this, we need to do like a, a YouTube short of like oddly satisfying because pulling these chips off the side is going to be extremely satisfying. You, you want to tap one? No, I want to wait. Oh, oh. Okay. Are you ready? Ready? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, look at that. Ready? Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. This is definitely going to be the favorite part of the day. Um, all right, let's roll the scaffolding to the other side and do the other end cap. And then, what you've all been waiting for. Reveal. I know, you normally call it reveal day. You said moving forms day. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, it's reveal day. You're not even looking at the camera. It's reveal day. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I feel better now. Good. I think it is right. It just looks like this is too tall. I think this angle might be slightly off to line up with this, but we'll find that out when we roof it. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I think I'm going to spend a lot of time up here with like an angle grinder. Or in a flap disc, just rounding all this out and making it less terrible. I will say, I am almost right on the line, but the top of the wall does this, because I don't know how to do concrete at an angle. Uh, before we move and attach completely. Uh, yeah, we have to pull chalk line. Yeah. You are correct. We still need to put the turnbuckle over there, right? Turnbuckle over, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's the next step is put the turnbuckle over. Let's uh, pull chalk, let's sweep and pull chalk before we forget. All right, we're, what are All right we so do? we're about to pull measurements uh, for the next wall. And to make sure that we get it as close as possible, we're gonna do three measurements. I think we're gonna favor one over the other two, but we're gonna pull from the edge of the foundation 
all the way over. Then we're gonna pull from the edge of here all the way over and make sure that this is exactly two and a half feet. Then we are gonna pull from the edge of this to here and make sure it is at least 11 feet because that's how wide the garage doors are, the rough opening of the garage doors because that's as wide as we could physically make them. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we'll draw our lines and then we'll pull chalk all the way down, which is actually gonna be easier said than done because, oh, I didn't think about that. How are we gonna measure these? I think we're gonna have to go from that side and pull over. Or just measure, oh, we'll just measure six inches in from the edge of the foundation, that's what we'll do. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a few measurements and kind of see where we're at with everything because there's some variation in, like if you hook it on the edge of the foundation and there's a big rock right there, it's gonna, it's gonna throw your measurement off by about, you know, anywhere from a 32nd to a eighth. So we're gonna uh, just kind of take several measurements and see where we're at and kind of find the balance of all of them, so. That's the plan. That is the plan. So go all the way to the edge of foundation. Dog, this is not a toy. Are you sure? So from the edge of the foundation was this line here. And then from the edge of the inside wall over there was this line. And from the edge of the next one over was also this line. So we'll take this line. Okay. And that will be our new, our new line. Could do just to see if we do line up is we can pull six inches off of this and then two feet, six inches off of the edge of the foundation. And we should be close. We should be really close. Okay. I think what we'll do is come to, we can land this end where we know the end caps can go into these end beams, oh. into the steel beams, right. because this, the opposite side can overlap this wall as yes, much as we need. And so I think what we'll do is let's try to land it to where the line is maybe what, two inches in you think? Two and a half inches? to account for like push out and stuff or, or two inches. Oh, yeah. That's good. Cause the form is. You gotta get a drill in there. Two and a half? Yeah, I think two and a half. Oh well, yeah, cause then close, as close to this as possible. So this screw right here would be next. And that is two and an eighth. Okay. So yeah, I think two and a half is fine. Mm -hmm. So we'll go. To, so we'll try to land it, the edge of the form, two and a half inches off on the line. So you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna put uh -huh. a little, little marky mark. mark. Landing. You gonna put ocean on this side? <laughs> Don't. No, I'm not gonna put anything on this side because it's not form. I'm gonna pretend that says water. Cool. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that should TJ. Be good. And if you're within, if you're within half an inch of that, I yeah. think that's fine. Well, we can get pretty. Yeah, we can land it pretty. Like, I was, I was surprised at how, how. I was too. It was actually easier to land the thing. Than yeah. Than yeah. I expected. So what I'll do is once I get this side lifted a little, if you guys pull, it'll re-equalize. And then I'll lift again and you guys can pull and it'll re-equalize. So I'm just going real slow. Uh, All right. All right. So uh, right now it is hanging by the straps. 
Now what we're going to do is just crab walk the uh, telehandler over until it's back into position. So here we go. Yeah, you guys understand what's happening? I'm going to lift. Once that's airborne, even half an inch, pull on this, on this strap. Would we rather just do it with the turnbuckles? What's that? Instead of having me pull in with the pedibone, why don't we just push in with the turnbuckles? I don't know if we have that much length on these. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, but if you just back straight up. Great, right. I don't have to pull, I just back straight up. Just put a little bit of tension on it, now yeah. that we're anchored. Yeah, okay. Y'all yeah, just back up. Tell me when we're flattish. Though, doesn't it? Man, that's gorgeous. You know. It looks really good with that. The and they're even, like they're they're at even spaces. That's kind of cool. Um, this cold is clean, right? Look at that. Well, that's that that cool. was the one where we had water. Like both of them are. Yeah, this is the one where we had water. Remember? Yeah. And it, it looks like, yeah. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Yeah, it. it's a pretty wall. That's interesting. This left right here, the color, it almost looks like there are lighter bits of sand in it that didn't like take the color. I love how, even though we're doing the same thing over and over again, we still get different results. Yeah. I know. That's like TJ's worst nightmare. <laughs> I keep doing the same thing. It's interesting though. I feel like you can tell more on this wall that we didn't hand tamp. We yeah, got a lot of really wiggly bits, which I is fine. Like them, I don't, it doesn't it bother me. It the ocean. I know that sounds funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so satisfying. <laughs>
This is going to be very satisfying. Hold on, I got, I got to get an angle that I can. There's no good angle. Sad. Okay. You ready? Baby stick book. Yeah, go, put him, go put him in the woods. against those corners as we can get at the base. not going anywhere yeah I think we still need to put our cross braces on and then we'll put at least uh... oh we don't need an end cap we gotta set these yeah we'll set these turnbuckles at least and then and then the top frames and then we should be good yeah rock and roll all right we have a new wall our biggest wall yet tallest wall yet and um, yeah, we are gonna finish up forming. Uh, we have a little bit more to do today. Uh, we're basically just gonna uh, stabilize it so it can't go anywhere, which it's, it's leaning up against this wall, but we're gonna put our top braces on. And then I think we're gonna call it a day because it's getting later and uh, we can do this tomorrow. So I think that's it for today. Thanks for joining our adventure. Mm -hmm.